something that stays on my mind. And I think the reason it stays on my mind is because of how strange this paradox is that surrounds it. So like men are so much more powerful than they think they are. But we've been so taught and conditioned that it's the other way around. And indeed, women are very powerful when it comes to things like nurturing and caring, et cetera. However, when it comes to a woman's behavior and tendencies, it all boils down to men. It is all at the discretion of men. I don't care what lies women tell you. It's true. And women know it, too. Let me explain. Women do things for men. Women do things for the attention of men. Women can't deal with rejection and being ignored nearly as much as a man can because women get attention every single second of every single day of their life. Getting attention is extremely normalized for women. However, if a man gets attention, it's somewhat of a rarity. But a woman can get attention just by walking down the street. So the effect of being ignored and not getting attention weighs a lot heavier on women than it does men look every time you say silly shit like happy wife happy life you're giving away your power and that's another video that i have this debunking that quote because it's not true every time you chase after women and females and shower them with compliments you're giving away your power mm. I'm not saying don't compliment, but women can tell when you're overdoing it in an effort to get in good with her. Your power is masculinity, and that's why it's addictive to women. It's what draws them to you. But once you give that masculine energy and power up, you have now become feminine. When a woman feels you are on her level, she will lose interest in you. This is why women will say they want a man that's on their level when they're describing like their perfect man. But once you really dive into what they're looking for, they want a man that's above them, whether it be in status, money, knowledge, whatever the case may be. A woman wants to feel like she can be leveled up by a man. Facts. So guys, remember how powerful you are. You drive society. You drive the societal norms. You drive the societal standards when it comes to women. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. So when she was on here, she was talking some facts. And I wanted to review this. And thanks to this content creator. Damn, I forgot. I don't know what the girl name is. But shout outs to her. Um, Men do have power. Women have power too. It all is all how you go about it. You know what I mean? And I think that the motives of what you want and who you want as a person all plays in a part. If you're trying to have fun, then you're having fun. If you're trying to get married, that's a big situation. I think that um, there's a certain level of things that we've been taught that has been misconstrued over the years. It's just like telling somebody a lie. When it starts from the end of the list and it comes down, it's not the same lie. So I think we need to be aware of what we want and what's going to make you happy. But we also got to be able to compromise. And compromise is a big thing. If you're willing to compromise, they're willing to compromise. But each gender has their own form of power. But what she's saying was so true. <clears throat> she couldn't have said it better. She's said it better than anybody I've ever heard. So, um, hey, man, this is Chaos Culture Radio reviewing content. Hope you like it. Um, like it, subscribe. Share the content. Peace.